In this tutorial, we're gonna see how to easily make fast zoom ins and zoom outs from different directions. So, right here, I have a screenshot of the Premiere interface as an example. There is some inception stuff going on here. I'll apply the zoom in and zoom out to the different panels here. First, select your clip and in the effect controls, press on the scale option. Don't click on the stopwatch, just press the scale option and this icon will pop up in the middle of the program monitor. Hover over it until there is a black cursor that appears. Then, move this cursor towards the position of your zoom in. Let's say here. Go back to the effect controls and now press the stopwatch of the scale option at the start of the clip. Go forward one second and then scale up your clip. Select both keyframes and right click on them. Click on ease in to smooth up the animation. Also drag the small blue line here to make sort of a wave to bring in more smoothness to the zoom in effect. If the animation is too fast you can bring up the ending keyframe forward a bit. Now for the zoom out, go 10 frames forward from your last keyframe and hit the stopwatch. Move about 1 or 1.5 one seconds forward and reset the value of the scaling. Select these keyframes and right click on them. Choose ease out and what you can do next is drag this blue line to the right. It should look like this. A very nice zoom in and then a zoom out effect. Now let's say you want to add the same effect but to this position. To do that, move a few frames from your last keyframe and with the razor tool make a cut. Select the clip you just cut and uncheck the stopwatch for now. Select the scale option like we did previously and move the black cursor towards the position of your choice, in my case here. And instead of doing all of that editing we just did, what you can do is go back to the first clip and select all the keyframes you have. Click on copy, then paste the keyframes onto the second clip. And the same effect should happen to this position, very quickly and easily. So yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to check out this next tutorial as well.